Welcome back. Uh, we hope you had a fantastic weekend and welcome back to Pose and PE. Uh, this week we are starting uh, track and field sports as you know and today our focus is on uh, the most popular and uh, the most plentiful of the ancient Olympics uh, games. All right, The event that was the most popular and that there was also the most of in the ancient Olympics, okay? And I'll give you another clue. It was mostly competed in uh, naked, believe it or not. Most of the competitors uh, in these events, not most, all the competitors in most of these events, I'll explain that in a moment, uh, competed naked. All right, before uh, before I tell you, before we tell you, uh, let's just remind you what you need. It's very simple today, everybody. Uh, we're using four pylons, all right? Uh, if you don't have pylons, you could use empty water bottles, bowling pins, uh, containers, all right, whatever you have, just four of them, okay? And of course, you're going to need your full water bottles today as well, all right? And the sport, of course, we are doing today is running, running. all right? Uh, what I told you before, they competed nude except for in something called the Hoplodromus, I believe it's pronounced, where they had to wear their full hoplite armor, all right? So the shield, the helmet, all the armor, everything like that as they ran, all right? But most of the running events, they just completed, competed naked, believe it or not. You can compete naked. It's fine with us. No one can see you anyway, all right? Might want to ask your parents. We're not going to compete naked today. We're going to do it with clothes on since you can see us. All right, so go grab all your stuff, including your running clothes, and we'll see you soon for some running. Oh man, welcome back. Let's warm up our bodies for some running events. Follow me. Just starting with the march. So happy to be back in your homes once again, Hillmount. Welcome back to our basement. We're going to do the best we can today of running in our space. Hopefully you have a space you can run into. We need to warm up our bodies first. Running really uses our legs. It uses our core. It even uses our arms. So we need to warm all those up. So we're able to run the best we can today. Let's take it to a march. Great job, everybody. Keep that head up, that chest up as well. Can we do opposite elbow, opposite knee? Excellent job. Let's take it with a hop in three. Two, let's hop. Great job, everybody. Four, three, two, just to a march. Gonna do some ladder climbing like we're climbing a ladder. Here we go. Arm goes up. Leg goes up, like you're climbing a ladder that just keeps going. Can we do this with a hop? Great job. I hope you're starting to breathe hard. All right, back to a mark. We're going to do some step touches. We're starting out to your right. Here we go. Great job, Hill Man. Let's add a lateral. With a curl. Keep it going, Hill Man. Nice and strong. With a bench press. Great job. With a row. All right, back to a march. Let's try some of our jumps. Remember, our hands touch the ground, our hands touch the ceiling. Here we go. Eight of these. Four left. Last one. 
Back to a march. Let's do some squatting. We're down, down, up. Excellent job, Hill Mouth. Keep that chest nice and straight. Keep your head up like you're sitting in an imaginary seat. Let's try that with curls. Great job. I hope you're feeling it in your core and your legs. I know I am. Let's do it with some flies. Let me go see how you're doing. Keep it going. Whoa, you're looking good. I love that you're getting nice and low on those squats. Great job. Let's try it with a bench press. Remember, we press in, we pull out. All right, let's take it to a march and to a run. And to some quick feet. To the end of this song. Lean out that finish line when it comes. Quick, 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 quick. Whoa, I hope you got that lean in. Grab a drink. We'll see you soon for our aerobic. I hope you're nicely warmed up. I know we are. We are. We're going to do some running aerobics. So grab one of your pylons and follow me because here we go. Just marching, holding a pylon in your right hand as you march. Good. We don't want to lose that warm-up fitness, so let's keep our legs moving. Can you do it in your left hand, holding that pylon as you march? Excellent. Let's put that pylon behind us. Keep your march going, Hill Mouth. Great job. As you know, we're doing a lot of running today. We didn't do very much in our warm-up at all, so let's try to do a lot in our aerobic. Just starting with the regular run. Excellent job, Hill Mouth. This should be no problem. Your legs should be nicely warmed up right now. I'm just going to run and say hello to you, just to get the camera up a little bit. Keep that run going. Looking good. All right, this time, can we run out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, left, right, in, in, left, right, in, in. Keep it going, Hill Mount. Great job. All right, can we do it the other way? Just running on the spot here. Can we do it the other way? So it should be right, left, in, in. Right, left, in, in. Good. Follow the three of us. Keep it going. Great job. All right. Let's run in the middle here. This time when we run, can we put our arms up, out, down, Front, up, out, down, front. Good, keep your run going. Let's see who remembers the pattern. Good for you if you're still doing it. Can we do it faster? Excellent job, Hillman. Good for you if you're still on pattern with us. One more. Great job, all right. Regular run. Can we run and kick our hands that are on our bottom? Can we kick them with our feet or at least come really close to kicking them when we are running? Good for you if you can. I'm coming close. All right, let's run, but with some high knees this time. Hands stay in front of your body. Don't move them too much. You might have to move them a little. And let's get those knees up as you are running. I'm getting out of breath. I hope you are too. Running is not easy. No one ever said it was easy. But it's so good for your body. 
As you know, Hill Mount, it's one of my favorite sports. It's actually one of Jacob and Ella's favorite sports as well. All right, running on the spot. Can we try really slow running? Really slow running. All right, now speed that running up. Quick steps, quick steps. Let me see how you're doing. You're going super quick. Keep up the good work. Keep it going. Great job. Let's run and turn and face that way. Let's run and turn and face the back. Let's run and turn and face the right side. And run and turn and face the front. All right. Just to a regular run here. Let's see if you can get your pylon while still keeping your run going. You'll want to have it in your right hand. In your right hand, can you bring it to your left? To your right. Keep that going. Keep your run going. Good for you if you are doing it. Can we do this with two hands up in front of our bodies as we are running? Something nice and big for you to catch today. Keep it going. Can you throw it up in the air and catch it? Can you do it with just your right hand? Just your right hand as you are running, throwing it up and catching it. It's okay if you drop it. Go get it quickly, get right back into it. Can you do it with just your left? Just your left hand. Great job, Hill. Now keep the run going, we're watching you. One hand to the other hand. Keep the run going, Woo. Great job. Whoa, if you drop it, it happens, just keep it going. Last challenge, can we do a flip? Can we do it with a flip? With one hand, with both hands. I don't think with no hands is possible, but can you do it? Maybe make it light on your head. No, I could not, but good for you if you could. Grab a drink, we'll see you soon for our running skill. Yo, man, welcome back. Let's learn our running skills. You need one pylon, one of your pylons, and your body. Come follow me. Just starting with the march, we're holding on to our pylon. Holding on to our pylon. All right, our pylon we can put behind us. Running. Break it down into three steps. The first step is driving our legs up in the air. We bring our legs up for the running motion. So think about the running motion. First thing that happens is your legs come up, your knee comes toward the ceiling. Can we try this with a bounce? Hill mount, it's like the alphabet. These are called A's. A's, nice and high. All right, what comes after A? Good for you if you said B. These are our B's. Leg comes out and snaps down. Out and snaps down. Out, snaps down. Can we do our arms too? So opposite arm comes down as well when our leg comes and snaps down. Let's see if you remember our A's. Good. And do you remember our B's? With the hop for the bees. Excellent. Feels kind of funny, doesn't it? All right. So that's the first two things of running. First, our leg comes up. Then our legs go out. What's the last thing that happens? The C's are. You're reaching back and trying to kick your bottom like we did in the warm-up today. Okay? So get the arms into it as well. When your left leg goes, your right arm pumps. When your left arm goes, left uh, right leg goes, your left arm pumps. You know what I mean. All right, let's see if you remember it all now. Let's try A's. There we go, I'm back on track. 
Let's try these. And let's try C's. Excellent. Now, now you just learned the ABCs of running. All right. What's the first thing that happens in a running race? It would obviously be the start. For the start, the starter says, runners, take your marks. You put your non-dominant foot forward. He says, or she says, set. That's when you reach down with your opposite. Look at us. We have opposite leg, opposite arm. And then he says, she says, go. And that's when you drive the other leg. Did you notice the way I brought my other leg up, other arm up? Let's try that. Runners, take your marks. Set. Go. And we would drive. Excellent. Good for you. What about our finish? We did it during the warm-up today. At the finish line, you want to lean with your chest. Because it's first chest across the finish line will be the winner. All right, so your start, your finish. Excellent. Differences in the way we run. For our sprinting, we're running on our toes. It's a fast race. Quick turnover, quick legs. For our middle distance, we're running more on the front of our feet. It's a fast race, but a little bit long. And for long distance, we're running more in the middle of our foot touching the ground. Okay, don't worry if you didn't get all that. We'll talk about that more in our games. Grab a drink and we'll see you soon. Hope you're feeling good because it's time for our races. We have set up a track, Hill Mount. We have our four pylons set up. Do you see them? We've created a rectangle using our four pylons. All right, create a rectangle using yours because it is time to race. We're basically making a track, okay, parents? A rectangular, oval, circular kind of track. More like an oval would be the thing. All right, come follow me. We're running on the spot to start. All right, in track and field. There are seven different running distances, from the shortest sprints to the longest long distance. The first one's called the 100 meter. For the 100 meter, you're just running in a straight line, the length of your track. Hill Mount, this is not a race. Do not race your people. This is just for you, okay? We're not on a real track. All right, we're in way too small a space. We don't want anybody to get hurt or anything to get hurt. So take it easy. Just run for yourself, not against anybody else. We got it? I know we have it. All right. Remember, this is the 100 meters. It's just one length of the track. We start with runners, take your mark. Set. Go. Good for you if you ran on your toes the whole time. Good for you. That was easy, I know. It gets a little longer from here. Let's do the 200 meter. For the 200 meter, find one of your pylons. Have a behind cake up, please. We're going to go together. Okay, behind me, please. We're going half of our track. So from this pylon to this pylon over here, okay? 200 meters, runners take your mark, set, go, on your toes, on your toes, and that's it, the 200 meter is over, time for the 400 meter, 400 meters, you're starting where your finish line is, start at your finish line, so Hillman, we are starting over here, because this is our finish line, 400 mid distance, running on the front, not on your toes, runners take your mark, Set, go, 400 meters, one time around the track, because a track is 400 meters long. Next up is the 800 meters. If 400 is once around, 800 is twice, twice around. Ella got it, I hope you did too. All right, mid-distance, runners take your marks. Set, go. 
That's one. And that is two. Did you remember to lean at that finish line, Hillmount? 1,500 meters. We're starting at the three-quarter mark of the track. Three-quarter behind me, Jacob and Ella. Runners, take your mark. Set. Go. This is a long-distance event, Hillmount. So pace yourself. That means you can't run too fast. We've done one and three-quarters. We've done two and three-quarters. Last lap because 1,500 meters is three and three quarters. Whoa, we hope you did it. Next up, the 5,000 meters, 12 and a half laps. This is definitely long distance. Find your halfway mark. Same place as your 200. Runners, take your marks. Set, go. That's a half. We have 12 left. Keep running, Hillmouth. We have 11 left. Don't stop. We have 10 left. We have 9 left. Keep it going. We have 8 left. We have 7 left. I hope you're not getting dizzy. Yeah. We have 6 left. If you get dizzy, we're turning around. Other way. We have 5 left. We have 4 left. We have three left. We have two left. We have one left, last left. And lean at that finish line. Great job. There's one more event. It's called the 10,000 meters. 25 laps, 25 laps. We're gonna do it on our time. You do it on your time. We'll see you after the 10,000 meters. Welcome back. We did, without a word of our lie, we did our 10,000 meter. We ran 25 times around. You can probably tell by looking at me. I hope you did too. If you didn't, I want you to stop the video right here. Do your body a favor. Run 25 times around your track. Every five, we rotated so we didn't get dizzy. Okay, so we went clockwise for five. Then we went counterclockwise for another five. And we repeat five sets of five for 25 total laps. Remember to pace yourselves, that means don't try to run too fast and land in the middle of your feet. All right, you can't land on your toes for 25 laps of a trap, okay? 10,000 meters is 10 kilometers. Obviously, we're not doing that today because our track is way shorter. But Hillmount, if you think that's long, the one track and field we didn't, event, we didn't do today that's a running event is the marathon, and that's over 42 kilometers, all right? Think about that. We are going to cool our bodies down, inhaling and exhaling. Just keep marching, inhale and exhale. As you know, we're a big running family. We're going to show you some of our favorite running stretches. This one's great for our quadriceps. If you need to put one leg, one leg in the air, Bend the other knee for a deeper stretch. Can you do that? You should feel a very nice stretch in your four muscles in your leg here called your quadriceps. Excellent balancing heel mount. Shake that out. Let's try the left side. Heel mount, as always, I'm bending my knee. As always, we want to see your videos. We want to see your photos. We want to read your comments. Let us know how you enjoyed the running activities today. And shake that out. All right, we're going to do what's called a hurdler stretch. For the hurdler stretch, we push against the wall. We're having our front leg at a 90 degree angle. Our back leg is nice and straight. And that's the one that is stretching that back leg. It's like we're pushing that wall. And the more you push that wall, the more you should feel a stretch in your back leg. All right, these, what's that, Jacob? During sports stacking, right? During sports stacking, we did this against the table. You're right, thank you, Jacob. By the way, Hillman, we were comparing our running to sports stacking 
and staying in the sports stacking, we hardly sweated at all, and we hardly needed to drink from our water bottles, and the running was the opposite. I finished my entire water bottle because I was working hard. I hope you were too. All right, it's funny how they can both be sports, but are very, very different sports. Beautiful. And my third favorite running stretch is for the Achilles. I put one leg up against the wall and I try to press in towards the wall. You can see my face is basically against that wall. Really feeling it in the back of my leg, the lower part of the back of my leg. Shake that out and other side. Beautiful. We mainly stretched our legs today because that's what we really used a lot in our running. All right, grab a drink if you have any more water left and we'll see you soon for our health tip of the day. Welcome back. Our health tip of the day today has to do with COVID-19, also called the coronavirus. Uh, today, you probably have, um, you probably don't know that much about the coronavirus. Uh, so if you don't, we have a great podcast for you. Okay, you'll want to make sure all your work's done for your classroom subject because this podcast takes 35 minutes to listen to. All right, but it's fantastic. It is intended for kids. It is made just for you. It should answer all your questions and you'll basically questions and you'll basically be a coronavirus expert by the time you are done listening to it. All right. It is a brains on podcast. It is called Understanding Coronavirus and How Germs Spread. All right. So I will post the link for you in your Google Classrooms uh, and feel free to listen to it when you get an opportunity to do so. And then you can be a coronavirus expert because let's face it, there's nothing bigger going on, not just in our city right now, but in the whole world right now. It has basically shut down the world. So we should basically, we should definitely learn about it. Okay. Something that important. All right. Uh, Hill Mount, as always, Keep your photos, videos, comments coming. Uh, let me know what you learned about the coronavirus from the podcast. All right. We really enjoy doing our running activities with you today. Tomorrow, Hillmount, tomorrow we're going to do a different running event. It's part of track and field. Still takes place on the track, but it is a team running event. All right, don't say it out loud if you know it. See if you can figure it out, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye.